male directors do you see today uh, yeah. you know telling a story exactly. that you know from the point of view of a woman mm. there's, there's hardly any so numbers are very less um it is changing of course there are um, people are writing women driven stories but women are writing women driven stories yeah that's Men fantastic are not the people who loved irfan khan as an actor and as a human being uh, what he needs is their blessing yeah. not their 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 eyes drilling into him to say will you be as good as him or as yeah. whatever i mean that's just not fair i would want them to bless him <laughs> i am babel i am tripti dimri Hi, I'm Swastika Mukherjee. Hello and namaskar. This is Anvita Dutt and you're watching us on peepingmoon.com. Hello everyone. Welcome to peepingmoon.com. I'm Rashita Sahani. Now very few times do you come across a film that makes you feel each and every emotion so beautifully almost flawlessly for me this year that film has been kala so firstly congratulations on that wow. thank, thank you thank you <laughs> thank you um to talk of course more about the film and how nicely it has been made i have the fantastic team of kala with me welcoming anvita dutt swastika mukherjee tripti demri and babel khan of course uh, welcome guys firstly of course i have to say i watched the film last night and the first reaction that uh, came to my mind was wow because often as journalists uh, who review films we have this bad habit of constantly thinking oh what went wrong or kuch hua yeah. kya to find flaws because also that's a part of our job uh i couldn't find anything start to end i watched the film like an audience member and i couldn't like that critic in me could not come out because there was nothing that you know could go wrong maybe so hats off wow. to you all and with any dawa ke radya ke critic critic part ko thank you so much <laughs> welcome uh anvita starting with you uh, i remember talking during bulbul with the mm, two of yeah, you yeah. having a chat over zoom i'm so glad we are past that era <laughs> <laughs> uh you know there is very strong feminine voice in every story that comes from you be it bulbul even kala has that been a conscious decision because uh, we love such stories not many people come forward to put such stories across i don't think i deliberately set out to make uh, something with female gaze or or uh, you know with female protagonists or uh, that agenda is not there when i'm thinking because a story is a story and it has to have its own legs and stand on it and learn to walk on it on its own and uh, i don't load it with uh, biology in that sense uh, but uh, what happens is it's like um, it's familiar it's it's the planet that i live on being a woman so i can i can and do write about it with ease and it is uh, it instinctively comes like i'm, I'm sure if if uh, shastika was to write something uh, she would be past master at writing something set in bengal something which has sass something all the things that that is her yeah that resonates so, that yeah. resonates for her so i think it's not i don't set out as an agenda it's not a soap box that i want to get on to it just is uh instinctive and um and i think we need more storytellers like this so that it stops becoming a discussion point i know so that it is so common that we don't even feel the need to have this conversation any we don't need the feel to ask that question yeah i know exactly so that is the i think because that comes from within it also feels so effortless on screen when you watch it it translates beautifully because it comes of course as you explained it's natural for you but uh, talking about the actors in the film uh, i my mind was blown to see i could i could feel it through my laptop what was going on and you know i was thinking oh at this moment what would be happening on set when they were shooting it all these questions were coming in my mind um but as uh, the actors of the film who have given out every emotion be it sadness happiness jealousy i could feel it all did it ever take a toll on you personally when you were done shooting or were you like a switch off switch on actor we can start with you i think specific scenes not i won't say the entire film or you know all the scenes that i have shot for 
but um, I can't even like really speak about those scenes and details now because yeah. the film is uh, uh, slated for a first December release. But there are a few scenes. Um, one I can say because she's my daughter and I've given birth to her, so that is a common thing that people will know. So yeah, that that scene where I see my child for the first time, uh, that portion because it has. Is it has more stories to it? I, I love <laughs> so it has more stories to it. It's just not, you know, delivering a child, and of course, uh, there are many scenes that I have done with Tripti, and you know, when she wants to go and pursue her career, mm. and um, scenes uh, which. I am alone in my space and you know I really want to go out and but my inner demons are not letting me do it. So there, there, there were scenes where I even after the you know shoot was done and the shot was taken I was very sad mm. and uh, I could also feel that people on the set were very sad and very quiet because yeah. the moment a director says cut or you know we are moving on there's chupar chupar, people start talking and they are moving things around and light is getting redone or you know there's work happening right. but there have been scenes where I have I've heard that An Anvita has said that we are moving on or you know the shot is over and I have been sitting there the same sp uh, spot where I was sitting on the same space and I was just sitting there and I could feel that the set was completely quiet right. yeah. so I'm like, okay, whatever I was feeling, it must have, you know, done something to people around me who were there on the set. And uh, a lot of times, Anvita was very quiet sitting in front of the monitor. Like, I really had to go and ask her if the shot was okay. Next to the camera. <laughs> Next, Next to the, to the camera. camera. <laughs> yeah. And I think she is a, a director who doesn't sit in front of you know the shogun and watching it from there because many a times yeah. we have asked her to be around us mm -hmm. and uh, her assistants have come and told her that ma'am you need to see the frame and you know understand what's going on and we have looked at her very helplessly so she was like nay I'll see it from here like I'm just seeing them and Siddhadivana DOP can check the frame and because I just I thought that I stand next to the camera and I just see that the frame is set before the actors walk so I know what my frame is mm. I've done the short breakdown yeah. now bet the whole film is between action and cut Correct. and that's yeah. them so yeah. it was there were moments when we felt so uh, morbid <laughs> that I just thought like you know when you're sick you want your you want the doctor to be around you you yeah. feel a little better and confident yeah. so I was like if I see her no I'll at least know that she is there mm -hmm. and I, I know I can get give better performance than to just not find anybody around so yeah I mean the set also felt so cold it was not we were shooting in <laughs> very uh, hot months here in Bombay but yeah it, it's it was gloomy so mm -hmm. We, it was difficult. <laughs> okay, got it. Yeah, I think a lot of the times, um, you know, when I had to perform difficult scenes, I would actually ask for Anvita and just hold her hand and be like, you just be there, hold my hand and whenever you think I'm ready, just, just leave it and go. And that's how, you know, we would go for a lot of scenes. But uh, when you are, you know, going through so many emotions in a day, I mean, it's, it's obviously, you know, it does take a toll on you. It does affect you personally. <laughs> And as actors, you do take your characters home with you, even when you're sleeping, even when you're eating, they're always around you. So it does affect you, but I think it's so important to realize, you know, that and be aware of the fact that you're acting. Yeah. <laughs> and this has to, you know, somewhere you have to leave it behind and be like, okay, this is this person's life. I have to do justice to the character, to the part and, you know, feel everything that she is supposed to feel. But at the same time, I have to take care of myself and put myself uh, before the actor, the, the character. It is not easy. <laughs> you want to get there as an actor, but uh, I think just being aware of it helps a lot. Um, so yeah, and and when you have someone like her taking care of you, then it's like 
she's always there and you know even the people on set like whether it's the camera department or the art department anybody on set they was they were like very careful um very respectful towards actors and you know there was so much of silence yeah. all the time and yeah. that really really helped yeah. i have like in my entire career i can say it like without even you know a doubt in my mind that i have not seen such a silent yeah set it there was just <laughs> no noise i've only heard this about clint eastwood and then and <laughs> <laughs> the set is the <laughs> quietest wow what a set comparison. because it actually is yeah. quiet and you know when you're performing and you know when you're delivering such heavy scenes you don't want to be distracted i've never actually heard anybody shouting silence please. yeah <laughs> there was no, no need there was no no silence please that word i have not heard in the entire yeah. schedule because wow. yeah. it was always silent i wish all our intern yeah, sets really. were also like that <laughs> <laughs> yeah we really shout 10 <laughs> times but uh, i'm glad to hear that but uh, bubble talking about your character jagan throughout the film even though i was watching you for the first time on screen i felt that it was written for you like i couldn't probably imagine someone else being in it how was it for you to go through that process and journey i think you you spoke about how like if if you guys are a switch on switch off actor forget being switch on switch off actor i don't even think i was an actor then cuz it was like <laughs> just such they like, the beginning baby steps right like i had absolutely no experience but i think any the performance that came out was i think the subconscious learning of being surrounded by the you know by acting for so long and then anvita's guidance taking me through the thing and i think as far as taking or toll is concerned because i was going through so much outside the set i think this the film was very cathartic for me so it was very opposite for me it was not like the character took a toll on me i think the character was it was a form of catharsis for me and i think that was very very important for me at that stage and uh, yeah it was just It was a very evolutionary experience. And that's that's what it was, I think, for me. Fantastic! Glad to hear that. But uh, and without talking about, uh, you know, all of them have mentioned your name when they were sort of doing a difficult scene or when they felt that your presence was necessary. Uh, was there a point where you needed some, you know, someone to calm you down, or was there like a day on set which felt very challenging for you because? now that the film is of course going to be out and you have maybe received some initial response it has been great uh but at that point did you sort of feel a little bit of pressure in you <laughs> <laughs> she's always giggling on set <laughs> <laughs> on the most difficult days also she's like kya ho jayega are wow nice yeah. so just, i'm think, very yeah. joyful at, uh, on set i'm it's ridiculously happy on set <laughs> um i mean you work everything that you've done all your life is so that you get these 30 40 days to tell your story and so you can't like suddenly become like i'm making intense films thus i shall be intense mm, no <laughs> <laughs> i'm joyful and she's dressed up like oh my god she is going for <laughs> Shoot. a red carpet something <laughs> nice. and we used to land up there like dead hager jaise <laughs> t-shirt or jaise pajama pen ke and anvita is Jewelry, sari, everything prevent proper. You know the visual of just watching Anvita make a film in her sari. Oh is just God, like, she's like make a film on that. Yeah, you can <laughs> literally make a film, make a film on. So the thing is, it's film. already so intense. But the thing is, I already know they are prepped, yeah. and they are ready in their characters. And in the moment, like they said, it's a quiet set. I'm happy and joyful. But uh, when they walk on to their mark, when they, so I stand with them. till i can see in their eyes that they are urmila kala or jagan the moment i see it in their eyes i walk away in that moment there is quiet i'm not giggling then it is quiet i'm there for them and um, when i would be watching also i have this because maybe because i've just done two films i find i find it very hard to look at a monitor okay because i i i want to see them mm. and that is the truth like everybody so i'm watching their eyes when they are performing so i cannot look at the monitor i've seen the frame i know what my frame is i have prepped for this for 6 months i know what my frame is i'll stand over there i stand right next to the camera and i just look at their eyes when they perform and when i know their heart is breaking in the shot when the camera is running my heart breaks and if i can feel my if i can get then jab dil tutta hai to kya awaaz hoti hai agar mujhe wo awaaz sunai deti hai 
I say, okay, moving on. Yeah. So even though everybody else might feel, but second take or there might be something that could be better. I said, no, I felt it. Yeah. And that is, it's, it's true. Right now you, you were authentic mm -hmm. and that is all that is required to tell the story. That's what would happen with all of them. Yeah. And then I would giggle and the one thing that you were saying about snapping out mm -hmm. what you asked is that I would obviously, I guess everybody, every director does that. I would call them by their character names only. And if I was to talk about Kala or Urmila or Jagan, I would say you. Mm. But the moment uh, I would say um, pack up for the day, immediately I will lapse back to Tripti and giggle and chat with Pabil and be foolish with Swastika. I'll be like Nish too and we'll be like mm -hmm. chatting about uh, hanging out. and So just helping them get out of... But she yeah. gives briefs also like that. I remember I was giving, that was my first day. I was uh, We were shooting in Kashmir and... It was my first, you know, shot for the film and uh, she came and she whispered and in my ears and she t told me what I need to do and tears were rolling out and she's like, Mr. You, uh, Urmila, you can't cry. I was okay. Then we, we like, we did another take and I'm just understanding, you know, that the tears are coming. Yeah. I couldn't help and I told Anvita that you can't brief. You can't give a brief which is making me feel so sad. <laughs> <laughs> Just say something very, you know, matter of fact. Because the way you spoke to me, I'm feeling so sad that I don't want to cry. My eyes are just, you know, getting uh, teary and I can understand they are falling. I'm like, yeh take bhi gaya. In my head, I'm like, are yaar. I said, Anvita, you just have to tell me things matter of fact. Don't come near my ears and whisper something. That was the first day. Then yeah. we figured out. Uh, I was like, no, because at the moment I'm hearing what you're saying, no, I really want to howl and cry, but I can't do it. So, yeah. <laughs> She, she knows what to what to say what yeah, to say yeah. and in how, how to, to say, say it, it. <laughs> no, she'll not talk to you yeah. she'll whisper then you're gone <laughs> yeah. and she, like she has a different approach, approach towards each one of us like she would talk to me differently she knows you know mera kya pressure point hai. <laughs> and then she knows what works for her better she knows what works she's for she's a reiki better. specialist oh my god <laughs> <laughs> i'm the urmila of the set <laughs> I'm saying well things, put. <laughs> saying things and impacting everyone. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> but, uh, you know, there was this uh, dialogue between Urmila and you where you are shown as a little girl and you, you are rehearsing and she comes and tells you that since you are a girl, you will have to, you will reach there, but maybe you will have to work harder. harder. Um, it's very unfortunate that I still have to ask such questions to actors, um, to actresses especially that, do you feel or have you ever felt that way in Bollywood? Because we have often been told it's a male-dominant industry. It is and there is no denying that it is a male-dominant industry. Um, I think it has become, earlier it wasn't the case. If you watch films from the 1950s exactly. and yeah. 60s, there were such good films uh, made, women-based stories and they were all written and directed by men. How many... Um, I don't know, I <laughs> No offense, but how many male directors do you see today, uh, yeah. you know, telling a story that, exactly. you know, from the point of view of a woman? Mm. There's, there's hardly any. So numbers are very less. Um, it is changing, of course. There are, um, people are writing women-driven stories, but women are writing women-driven stories. Yeah, that's Men fantastic. Are not right. Right. Yeah. And also, even if it's the, the protagonist is not... Uh, female or mm. it's not in and as in and as uh -huh. <laughs> uh, just the fact even if you if there is a small mm. role or a character uh, if there's if that character has agency or if that character has genuinely a role to play in the story or if the gaze is a, because it doesn't matter it doesn't have to be a female storyteller yeah you, the gaze has to be female yeah. and uh, yes she's right more and more male directors today are awakening the third mm. eye in that sense. <laughs> they are looking at stuff yeah. with a lot more, and they are the newer lot. And all. but yes, there was also Bimal Roy and yeah. Gulzar Saab. They were they had female gaze. That was beautiful yeah. stories they told, very sensitive, nuanced with, with female characters they wrote and talked about. So. Yeah, and I think those times stories were the heroes, not exactly. a male or a female. It doesn't exactly. matter if 
I am the main person mm. in the film or, or a guy is the main person in the film. Your story has to be your hero. So that needs to happen. Yeah. And as long as that is happening, I think we'll be sorted. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, another dialogue in the film is where uh, your character is talking to Samir Kochar saying that uh, he's telling you that everyone's replaceable and uh, you know if he replaces me today someone else will replace him later. Yeah. But in our film industry we have been fortunate enough to have uh, Irfan sir, unke mein bola jata, he's not replaceable even when he was acting uh, every reviewer or every critic told that about him. Uh, do you sort of feel that, I know you have been asked this a lot of times, that do you feel the pressure of being his son? Uh, my question to you is, do you feel the pressure of constantly being asked and being questioned about this thing, about always his name being attached to you? Of course, it will forever be, uh, but also in your professional uh, journey. <coughs> See, it's a part of my job, first of all, to answer these questions. And I understand, being an actor, acting is like 10% of being an actor, right? And I, now I've really yeah, started yeah, to yeah. realize that. But well, it should but actually be the other way. Yeah, right? 90% should be acting, <laughs> and 10% should be on other people. Yes. It's, it's everything is messed up. <laughs> but, uh, <coughs> see, uh, I always knew, you know, because of who Baba was, there will always be comparisons and there will always uh, be a pressure and ex an expectation from me. But the thing is, I am not trying to replace him. So there is no pressure on me in terms of that. I am just trying to be my own person. Validating the upbringing, validating the genes, the genetics and the the inherent evolution of man, right? Like I've come from my mama and my baba. Let's see where the individuality of that takes me. You know, I'm a, I'm a what do you say? The... I'm in the flow, right? <laughs> so that's the flow, right? Gen Z. Yeah. <laughs> so, yes, I don't, I don't, I don't feel the pressure as such. But obviously, I have a responsibility on me to I have a responsibility towards the craft. You know what I mean? And I have a responsibility towards the people that loved Baba. You know, and they loved their performance. And I, of course, as a person, I want to make them happy. It's not about pressure or expectations. It's just that I want to make them happy and I want to move them in some way. Of course. You know, by the craft. Otherwise, what is the point? If that he's he's uh, Shutupa and Irfan's son uh, as a human being. He's, yeah. he's, he's their son. He's biologically and emotionally yeah. their son. Uh, but as an actor, he's just Babal Khan. Why load him with It's that, not yeah. fair. fair correct. Why load him with that? It's lovely that, of course, they will all bless him. I would think that people who loved Irfan Khan as an actor and as a human being, uh, what he needs is their blessing, blessings, yeah. not their, their, their eyes drilling into him to say, will you be as good as him or as yeah. whatever. I mean, that's just not fair. I would want them to bless him. He's starting his journey. Correct. He needs their love. It took Irfan Khan many years to become Irfan Khan. He abhi aaya, chota hai. Saas lene do is Agreed. Also, blood relation or not, no matter how close two people are, I think two people can never be the same. Can't never. Be. Not even, even They can be as good in their own different ways, but never exactly the same. The same. So, yeah. No pressure. <laughs> uh, on that note, thank you so much for this conversation. Uh, a lovely film and an even better conversation we have had. So thank you for joining us today. Thank, thank you, you so much. much. Thank you. Thank you.